The fact that flower power is very real is a weird sciencey fact that boggles my mind. It's hard not to love a sunflower. They just look happy. In fact, years ago when I was working out in North Dakota, driving out to where we were working through the just thousands of acres of sunflowers made me happier than I was comparatively in other parts of North Dakota because, you know, I was in North Dakota. The fact that North Dakota exists just proves that there is no God because if there was a God that loves us, he would he would not have made North Dakota. But sunflowers can do a lot more than making boring drives through the Dakotas a little brighter. They also make a great snack for that long, boring drive through North Dakota. Sunflower oil is great for cooking and cosmetics and cleaning products, and it can also be used for fuel. And they're great for pollinators like the bees, and the bees are great for biodiversity and just making sure that life on Earth doesn't, you know, die. And sunflowers are great for the soil. They absorb things you don't want, like heavy metals as in lead and arsenic. They even absorb radiation like happy little hulks. In fact, you've probably noticed that a lot of imagery supporting Ukraine is the sunflower. The sunflower is really important there because Ukraine is where Chernobyl's located. And the sunflower is a superhero that has helped clean the soil around Chernobyl. And in addition to absorbing stuff you don't want out of the soil, they put stuff you do want back in it. Like carbon. They pull it from the air and sequester it in the soil, which is good for plants and climate change. Their deep tap roots help break up and aerate compacted soil, mixing it up and getting better mixes of nutrient rich soil. And they pull nutrients up from the deep that other crops can't reach. And then once the sunflower has harvested or dies, those nutrients are returned back to the topsoil, making them accessible for other crops and plant life and increasing biodiversity. But it also turns out that sunflowers can help fight climate change as well. First, they just require less greenhouse gases in general than other similar crops to produce. When it comes to oil producing crops, the only one with a lower greenhouse gas footprint is rapeseed or canola oil. But when it comes to factoring in other things like water and land usage, sunflowers can sneak ahead. And their production per acre is nothing to write home about when comparing it to other crops like corn. They're comparable to similar crops like soybeans, but with half the carbon footprint, and they blow rapeseeds yield out of the water. And speaking of blowing things out of the water, that's where sunflowers really shine. As climate change causes regions to dry up like Ben Shapiro's wife, sunflowers don't seem to mind. Their deep roots allow them to access water much deeper in the soil and makes them far more drought resistant than other crops. And they've evolved to be more reflective than some gold gaudy ass shoes people in a cult might spend way too much money on, which allows them to conserve more water and be more resilient to the sun on those long, hot, dry summer days. And that is where scientists have recently discovered that they just might have another superpower. Because light colors reflect sunlight, it helps keep areas cooler. Kind of like how you stay cooler if you paint your house white or wear white clothes and if you were to paint it black or wear black clothes. And planting fields of flowers in certain regions can lower local temperatures by up to a half a degree Fahrenheit per 1% of area covered. And that can be absolutely huge at mitigating the effects of climate change in certain areas. And those regions are above and below 30 degrees north and south respectively, which is where places like, you know, North Dakota and the entire grain belt exist. And because these regions already have lots of agricultural land growing similar crops, it doesn't require massive amounts of deforestation to produce like it does for things like palm oil, which is currently the biggest oil producing crop. Now, even with all of their superpowers, sunflowers are, of course, not a magic bullet for climate change or any of our woes. But nothing is, and they are certainly a piece of the puzzle. So next time you're looking for a snack or a cooking oil or a cosmetic product that contains oil, maybe consider the sunflowers, because the more you buy, the more they'll grow, and that could make all of our futures just a little brighter. Because the fact that sunflowers and their seeds have superpowers that can help save the soil and slow the insufferable sweltering of summer, well, that is pretty mind-boggling.